Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be unboxing my Stargrave Nick Starter order. Scruffy Crow! Ah! Okay, so this arrived a couple of days ago. Um, it'd be whenever I posted my Nick Starter just arrived. Um, and yeah, so far I've only had a really cursory flick through the book. Uh, but I've already decided that it's, yeah. I, I mean, what is there to say? It's it's Osprey, it's sort of German colour, it's, you know, yeah, North Star. We already know what it's gonna look like. We've got some beautiful bits of Fulker page art. We've got some, you know, lovely miniature pictures. We've got some Frostgrave knolls there. Um, that's pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen that one. She's a kind of alien elf looking woman. Yeah, I think if you ever handled one of these uh, sort of Osprey, sort of hardback books like this, there's not a lot I can say about the quality of the book. If you haven't, then what are you doing? Uh, so yeah, lovely book, as expected. Uh, next up, we've got some of the freebies from the Nick Starter. So this is the uh, some bases. We've got some cultists. Um, this is a nice sprue. I actually got a few of these uh, a few years ago from a different Nick Starter. I got a whole box of them. Uh, so I've seen in these sprues before. Uh, but yeah, it's still a lovely sprue. We've got some sort of robed bodies. Uh, we've got some pointy hooded cultist heads. Uh, they could be quite useful for this. Uh, and yeah, some skeletony bits and stuff that we might be less useful. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool little sprue. Uh, next up is my some knolls. Now this sprue could have been useful when I was building my uh, barbarian line breakers a few weeks ago because this lovely uh, double-handed axe would have fit in quite nicely with those. And I've got a double-handed sword as well. I might still have to stick on a barbarian if I'm honest. Uh, the looks like the bodies wouldn't be really compatible with much else um, because of the way they so the heads attach. We've got these sort of big indented heads, but they're still. Pretty cool. Um, I don't think much of these shields though, that seems a bit rubbish. North Star Sprue, it's got some pretty good options on it. I really like this sword actually. Uh, so yeah, happy with that, especially as a freebie, as I hadn't actually already got this one. Next up, let's take a look at the rest of the freebies. These are the metal ones. We've got a, a D20, and it's pretty cool actually. It's kind of got a, oh, I thought it had a speckly pattern. It's actually just kind of dusty. Uh, but yeah, if you didn't already own one, that's uh, from my experience, if it's the same sort of mechanics as Frostgrave, that's all you're gonna really need. Um, but so yeah, handy little thing to throw in. And uh, let's have a, a look at the figures. Uh, so these are the objectives. Uh, so we've just got a little crate, some stuff stuck on the side. Uh, we've got a crate of grenades. And we've got a little canister of of something. So nice generic sci-fi items. Uh, figures wise then, we've got a Magnemite, I think they called it. Uh, this is one of the creatures I was least worried about because uh, I obviously have loads of Boromite uh, Magnemites uh, from uh, Beyond the Gates of Antares in my collection already. But no, it's a cool little guy actually. He's got some quite nice details. I haven't got the page open so I don't know their exact names. Uh, but the first one here is clearly some sort of hacker. She's got some electrodes in the side of her head there. Uh, sort of a little computer in her hand. Little knife. Actually, that's a really nicely sort of scaled miniature. I just really like the sort of form factor of it. Uh, one thing that some people have pointed out is there's no uh, integral bases on these. Uh, it's not tabs or anything. Uh, so actually, I can stick these on the clear bases that I've been leaning towards for my sci-fi, which would be pretty cool. But yeah, it's a really just smart little mini. 
impressed with that. Um, okay, next up we've got this guy. This guy's giving me some more 40k vibes. That one, Tommy Neuroman said this one's, uh, yeah, giving that more 40k look. He's some sort of medic, he's got a little med pack there, uh, with a little hose for injecting those uh, all important stim packs. A little pistol, so he looks like he'd be a pretty useful member of your crew. Now this guy I love, this guy was one I was really hoping uh, that we'd reach the goals for. Um, he is sort of some sort of warlock looking fella, no weapons on him, just a general uh, sort of magic wielding pose with this, this face full of teeth and no eyes. I think he's fantastic and I really just once again like the aesthetic they've gone for here uh, with the cloak and with some body armour and just yeah. The very, very alien face. I can't wait to get some paint on that guy actually, I'm really keen on that one. Uh, next up we've got more of a space ninja type character. Um, we've got some big chunks of like flash here. But nothing, uh, a few minutes with a knife won't clear up. Um, so we've got some mould line under there, but it's so fine. Um, I don't think we'll have any trouble clearing that up. In fact, these models are really nice and sharp. They've got some really sharp detail on them. Uh, so yeah, they're pretty impressive. So yeah, we've got sort of Space Ninja type. If we got here, another Psyker type girl, bald head. Oh, she's kind of like the girl we just saw in the art. I'm struggling to find that Psyker girl art, but while I was having a look through, I did spot another couple of the characters who definitely had full art. So this is this girl down to a T. Uh, same weapon, same little dagger. Uh, so yeah, if you do have a set of these figures, watch out for them in the book, because uh, there's definitely a couple of those that I recognise from in here with full page art. So yeah, that's a lovely tie-in that not only are these just random bits of art, but they've got sort of accompanying models. Okay, next up we've got a, a Red Skull looking fella uh, with some sort of binics in his head there. Just uh, two pistols, which is pretty cool. Uh, I love the old school vibe on this pistol. It's got like a bit of a revolver look to it. This is, I believe this one was on the uh, Nick Starter labeled as a Mystic. He's got a bit of a porcupine head. A bit of a porcupine face in general. Uh, he's got sort of robes um, to fit a mystic with a little waistcoat. Could be quite fun to paint up. Uh, that just leaves me with the box set. Um, I was going to get one of these boxes. Uh, the troopers seemed a bit sort of straight and boring, uh, but I think they'd be really good actual units for a few sci-fi games. Uh, the crew. Uh, I quite like the mix in there. I'd probably quite like to pick up a couple of crew sprues at some point. Uh, but the mercenary sprue was the one that sort of sung out with me. Um, they looked a bit meaner, uh, but also less uniform than the troopers. So in the box, we've got more of the uh, Rendro Ram bases. Uh, I'm actually quite liking these now. That's what my entire Oathmark army is on the green ones uh, and then we've got as you normally get in a sort of north star box we've got four identical sprues so we'll pop three back in and let's take a closer look at this one and we'll start with these heads up here so we start with an alien head actually and these have all got bionic bits and pieces. We've got some human space marine looking fellas. Um, a guy missing an eye. Uh, a screaming dude. All sort of with short or no hair. Um, and then we've got some sort of trooper like helmets up here. So that's pretty handy. That gives me the option if I do want to build some troopers. Uh, we've got some kind of matching helmets. Uh, even with some sort of 
aliens wearing them. That's quite a cool head. That's quite Star Warsy. Uh, there. I've got another sort of helmet with a little gas mask. Um, and some more sort of space trooper type ones. And then this one that really swung it for me. I can't see me using it more than once. But cool chimpanzee head. Okay, so as well as the trooper type heads, we've got some more exotic heads here. Got a bit of a, a mind flare going on. Uh, a sort of werewolf head. A couple of really weird sort of reptilian uh, alien heads. And then, yeah, then we've got a guy with no nose. Possibly the same sort of species as, as this fella. That's pretty cool. So we've got sort of an idea that there's more than one type of each species kicking around. And then weapons wise, we've got a healthy uh, mixture of sort of rapid fire type rifles. Uh, it's a bit like a space AK-47 here. Uh, some sort of snipery looking thing. Then we've got some heavier stuff, uh, a rocket launcher, uh, shotgun type things. Yeah, like a, even a little space Tommy gun type thing. Good supply of random looking sci-fi weapons uh, to arm you guys up with. The bodies as well, uh, these are pretty generic, which is actually quite like. Body armour over fabric, sort of spacesuit type look. There's no two arm armoured exactly the same, I don't think. Um, which hopefully in the trooper box they would be armoured the same. Uh, so yeah, this is a bit more of a, a ragtag band. But that's, yeah, that's why I've gone for the Merc box anyway. And then we've got a few people carrying some stuff. We've got a little box there and a box, like an ammo box, ammo tin. And then we've got a whole bunch of belt grenades, pouches, knives, and even a sheath. You don't see that very often. Uh, and a few more pouches and things. So you've got a good supply of bits there. Um, oh, there's even some more... Um, so got a little holding a holding a little phone, little tablet there as well. So yeah, I think that's gonna be a really interesting kit to have a play around with. Can't wait to actually get building on some of these guys. I don't know what I need yet. Um, I'll probably be using this mostly for sort of NPC type characters. Um, so I'll have to read through the book and work out exactly what I'll be needing because um, I think I've got most of my crew sorted already. <laughs> So yeah, in summary, uh, this is a great little collection of stuff to get me going with Stargrave. As I said, I've already put together a bit of a crew of my own. I'll certainly be adding a couple of these guys to it, probably at least the, the Doctor and the Mage looking fella, because uh, I think they could be cool little allies. And they scale really, really nicely uh, with my Doctor from Heresy, uh, sadly discontinued. Um, so that it's not going to be a problem, and they've already been removed from any kind of bases, so they can go on these clear bases to match my crew. Uh, so that's another good thing about this. Uh, I'm really impressed with the the Nick starter again. Uh, I said I, I paid basically paid for the book and the Mercs. Um, I'd have definitely picked up one of the classic sets anyway, just for my lack of uh, sci-fi characters. Um, obviously, I need the book. Uh, but yeah, then all these lovely metal models, plus the Knolls and the Cultists, is such a sort of, I don't know, just, that feels really generous to me. That, that I would have, you know, I would have bought these anyway. Uh, to get all these on top of that, such really quality models, uh, is fantastic. So I'm really impressed with that. Going forward, um, I said I'm definitely going to have to give this a read. I'll uh, cover to cover it at some point, uh, well, apart from the sort of scenarios, I'll just get the rules in my head and, and an idea of what I'm going to require. Uh, and then I'll do another video, probably with my plans, uh, show you my crew a little bit more. Um, get, obviously get some of these painted up, have a play around with the box. Yeah, all of that's good stuff. Uh, hopefully I can get some videos in. Obviously I am intensely busy uh, on Oathmark at the moment um, and, you know, to a lesser extent getting that saga band together. I'm also still working on my Warmaster army. Uh, so I've got a lot of stuff on at the moment, but I definitely want to make room for this because I don't do sci-fi that much. Um, so it's going to be a nice change 
uh, to do a bit of sci-fi. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.